2012 Chevy uh, with bows. We're looking at the front output from the radio. It's low level before the amplifier. This is at a very low volume. We're playing pink noise. You can see how it's boosted on the bottom end. Not really a real flat signal. And then as I ramp the volume up, we should see the output from the stock deck actually cut bass out. I'll make my minor adjustments here. So see how when I turn the volume up, the signal is getting flat instead of being this boosted signal. So I'll crank it all the way. And we'll readjust. So that's at full tilt on the deck. Pretty much board flat. I mean that is board flat. So what happens is you turn the, the volume up on the radio, it actually cuts bass away. Very important thing to know when we are adding aftermarket equipment. So as I turn the volume back down and readjust my scope, or RTA, sorry, readjust the RTA so we can see it, you'll see that bump come back at low volume. Cool stuff, right? That's it. Like I said, stock uh, stock GM nav deck into Bose and we're just tagged into the uh, front speaker output. So we know we have 20 to 20 and uh, I've already scoped the output and at full tilt I have 2.2 volts. Uh, clean on 40 hertz and 1 kilohertz so we're good to go and send this signal into you could go straight into an amp uh, we're going into a bit 10 processor and uh, the bit 10 actually allows us to kind of fix this EQ this stock EQ curve from the deck uh, the EQ what's important here is that the EQ curve isn't done in the Bose amp like a lot of people think it's actually done out of the output from the factory radio. So we can fix that with a bit 10 processor. Um, and we'll show that a little bit later. That's it. Thanks. Bye.